Favorite scale for blues solos? Well, you probably get like five or six off of each key, right? So if you're in G, third fret, your, your first is, that's the pentatonic. Then you get another one, the second one, not necessarily in uh, uh, ascending order on the neck. The second one, it's really all about understanding the root note and where the root note is for each position of, of, of uh, scale. And that makes it, I always remember as a kid going, if I know where the root is, I'll know where, I know how to get there. I'll know that's my anchor. So, you know, you think about like Voodoo Child, right? Well, that's the fifth position, what they call it, like the root five, I think they call it. But that just, that's the other way to play G, which is, so this is first. So this next one is. So that's how I think. This is the first, this is the second, and then, and then uh, there's some other ones inside of the minor pentatonic, but then you get major pentatonic. And what gravity is, is major pentatonic, which is the same thing as, but you know, they have a different sound because they're different strings and it's a physics thing. You're in a different part of the string. So it's, so that's the major version of that. Now the major version of that, there's, you got this. And what's interesting is that B.B. King played a lot in the major pentatonic. And when you think of blues playing, you mostly think of the minor pentatonic. So what's very interesting is you would get these sort of dominant seventh chords, you know, and B.B. And King would go. Which, remember, is still, ma uh, still major. And that's only when you move to minor. So that's that. So everything is uh, understanding roots. This is the G, that's a G, that's a G, that's a G, that's a G, uh, that's a G, that's a G, that's a G. Um, this is a G. Uh, and that's really, it's, it's mapping. It's like mapping and knowing where to go. Emoji of a wave. Um, I wrote that in the bathroom. I write a lot of my music in bathrooms. And I'll be honest about why. The first, thank you Fred, it's a good sounding, uh, acoustically good sounding guitar. The first reason I play in the bathroom is because acoustically it's good and it's usually far away enough from the hallway that I'm not um, self-conscious about people hearing it. I'm not so much um, concerned with people disturbing them. I'm concerned with being heard, I guess. Although I do try to keep quiet. Um, but the second reason is because I think um, I like to look at myself in the mirror. And you might think to yourself, well, that's narcissistic. But hold on. I think it's part of the make-believe that you would sit in front of a mirror and you would watch yourself and you would externalize from yourself for a minute and, and, and pretend you're watching yourself in a movie or a, or a music video or um, you oh you're saying you do it to yeah, we, we, let's be honest man like you're playing make-believe you're looking in a in a mirror and you're playing to yourself and you're imagining maybe that's a video you have to step outside yourself and play make-believe it's not narcissistic it's self-centered now don't get me wrong I'm hugely self-centered all artists are self-centered narcissistic um, I am not but wrapped up in myself? Yes. It's just the way it is. Um, I'm not wearing a Snuggie. I'm wearing a, uh, a sweatshirt. Um, so, so, emoji of a wave is just, I should move this a little bit, is uh, just a B. Well, it's not just, right? Because they... B, 
the E sus, F sharp. And it's really about this, it's a picking thing. Then it's A. But I, I do these things, so if this is your A, it just always made sense to me as a kid, like, if this is your A and you got extra fingers. I also figured out, this is interesting, um, this is totally true, what I'm about to tell you. I found a chord on the guitar that rattles all guitars. Whatever's happening on it frequency-wise, it makes the whole guitar just go... And it's this chord. And then you get this chord, which is interesting. And it's a pure F sharp minor at nine. E, E minor, and then I kind of two five one it. Well, two minor five, right? How do I find these chords? Well, for me. It's always Ouija playing. I call it Ouija guitar playing. And I just, if I hear something I like, I very quickly make a note as to how I got there, what's the root of it, why, would, like, basically I want to find my way back. And so you start to learn kind of instinctively if you move something down a little bit, you might, you'll get a different color. So you just sort of work on the fly, but then I remember as I go. Um, so. That's just a B, straight up bar chord B. But now you use. E. Or really. F sharp. That's that. My favorite chord of all time is probably like a, what do they call it? Like a, like a E11 or something. I just like that one. Standard tuning. I, don't, I hardly ever do. Uh, I hardly ever do um, alternate tuning. <laughs>